On today's agenda, more beauty research. I have a lot of MTVs. Love this. I can literally drink it. This thing can cure the Great Depression. It can cure the current recession. Overall, best day cream ever. I've ever tried, ever used, will ever use. Today's vlog we're going to be doing all things beauty i like to call this a beauty reset and quite frankly it's very necessary i came back from a bender i've had a two night bender i didn't cleanse my makeup off properly as you can see my skin is crying for help we're gonna cleanse my skin and just talk about all things beauty i'm using my cerave oil cleanser this is just like my hangover skincare we are been there So recently I've not been diligent with my skincare which is a little bit annoying because to I have a trip to Lagos very soon and of course I want to look good in Lagos I'm gonna be attending events I'm gonna be doing all of that so it's really annoying to me that I really haven't been taking my skincare seriously and like there's something popping up right here like I have a pimple popping up and it's my fault it's actually terribly my fault like this time around i can't blame my skin um anyways like i said exciting i'm going to lagos so i'm gonna be doing the whole shabam i'm gonna be getting my lashes done i'm gonna be getting my nails done i'm gonna get my wax done and like my skin is pissed off can you guys see the the pimple papa but yeah i'm so excited like finally feel like i'm becoming a woman again there's just something there's just something about your beauty maintenance as a woman that just i don't know like i don't know for today we're gonna be doing more beauty related stuff at home so i'm gonna be showing you guys my empties this is sort of like a morning skincare routine video um, but i just recently posted one on tiktok anyway so you can check that out i'm gonna be doing more washing my makeup brushes because it's part of beauty maintenance girls we need to wash our makeup brushes repeat after me Okay, um, I actually haven't washed mine in like six months. <laughs> That's really bad. I'd actually taken out my hair yesterday and my housekeeper helped me make some cornrows because she knows how to braid hair, which is like a big plus. One eternity later. I took out my braids yesterday, actually. Um, I had these blonde braids. I was supposed to vlog it. I didn't. See me. I'm going to be doing my hair. What else am I doing? In here, I have like a leftover charcoal mask, so I'm just gonna put some water inside of it. This is what I do. I always do like a charcoal mask anytime I forget to take off my makeup or whatever. I'm also gonna be washing my hair at home if I have time today. If not, I'm gonna pay a visit to the natural hair salon. I have like a weird complex hair situation, right? So I have a hair breeder, um, but she doesn't like treat natural hair, which is a big problem for me because my hair is natural. Um, it's not that she doesn't treat natural hair because she's like, oh my God, I don't like natural hair. No, she just doesn't treat hair. She just braids. So that's like an issue for me because it means I have to go to two salons. And like, I'm already spreading myself so thin, man. Like two salons is a lot. Guys, I'm sorry. If you're wondering what that crazy sound is, it's me staring. So I might wash my hair at home. If I want to be go able to go to her salon to get my hair done, I'm going to have to wash my hair. Because given all the things I've told you guys I'm doing, right, this week, plus the fact that my life is not on hold because I have beauty treatments to do, <laughs> I have things to do and a lot of things to sort out because I'm actually going to Lagos this weekend. I think I might just wash my hair at home. I don't have time to go to two different salons. This is literally a full beauty research whilst this is drying when it starts drying i will now do some skincare empties because i have a couple products i ordered like new skincare but i always prefer to watch empties videos like i want to know how it worked for you i don't want to see your new products <laughs> okay we're just gonna let that sit for a couple minutes i have a lot of empties to share whilst this is drying and skincare products I've just been loving in general. I'll start off with cleansers. This CeraVe cleanser, the salicylic acid cleanser, is absolutely great for beginners. It was one of the first products I used to like start treating my acne on my own because I just got like textured skin all of a sudden and I wasn't using any acids at the time and I started using this like a great soft way to like ease yourself into salicylic acid. Absolutely love this. And the thing I love about CeraVe products is they contain a lot of stuff that actually repair your skin as well as treat issues. So ceramides, hyaluronic acids. So these are things that are good for your skin, but 
barrier. For people like me who almost all the time are suffering from compromised skin barrier. So I really love this. On a scale of good, okay, great, also this was great. Another cleanser I really liked, this one was a random one. My mom traveled to Canada and she brought it back. It was a lactic acid and hyaluronic acid cleanser. I don't even know if it was for face or for body because it's facial cream cleanser. I used it for my face and my body. I also found that when I use lactic acid, my skin does really, really, really well. I mean, I'm gonna try incorporating more lactic acid into my skincare. The only thing I didn't like with this is that I have like exfoliating beads. Okay, you can't see. Ooh, it looks yucky. It had exfoliating beads, which I didn't like for my face, which is why I actually used it for my body instead. And it really helped me with ingrown hairs, right, around my bikini area. <laughs> Up next is this oil cleanser. It's a bath oil, actually, from Yves Rocher. It's not really visible right now. <laughs> but I really love this. And it was kind of like my insert into bath oils. And I can't go back. I got like this huge toppy cream bath oil now because i'm just so obsessed with how bath oils feel on my skin they just feel so luxurious they make your skin so soft and whatever products it is you're using you find that once your skin is hydrated and moisturized you just automatically look better right even if you're still dealing with like skin concerns beauty of joseon ginseng cleansing oil i absolutely 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 love this um i know most cleansing oils kind of like do the same thing but i really liked how light this was like you know when you use a cleanser and you can actually physically see results for me I feel like I had less texture on my skin whilst using this cleanser. So I really, really love it. The only reason why I haven't repurchased it yet is because I have a different oil cleanser that I'm trying. So yeah, she was great too. This is the Pola's Choice 2% BHA. I have the big one and it's not finished. So I often put it in the small container like when I'm traveling. And I absolutely loved this until I realized, which is why I haven't repurchased this CeraVe cleanser, that my acne is better fought with benzoyl peroxide and sulfur and tretinoin type things than salicylic acid salicylic acid was great for my come in right but salicylic acid wasn't able to fight like a lot of my very stubborn acne like on my forehead i didn't even have acne everywhere else i just have like all these spots on my forehead and obviously the occasional pimple that will pop up like during your period so that's the only reason why i would say it was just a good product like it's a great starter but salicylic acid did not work for me so these were my top two serums of 2023 oh my day you see this had a labo thing right you see this had a labo serum this thing can what? cure the great depression it can cure the current recession this thing will hydrate to the roots of your skin in fact it will hydrate your skin so much your kidney your organs might start getting hydrated a hydration that's how good this ish is and starting to use this made me realize that a lot of your skin concerns might be triggered by the fact that your skin is dehydrated like sometimes you don't need more active you don't need more salicylic acid more glycolic acid more this acid sometimes your skin is just thirsty and she needs a little bit of aid drinking water and this is a golden girl awesome 20 over 10 absolutely recommend it for like i don't know if it's a toner i don't want to call it i call it a serum if they say it's a hydrating lotion i wouldn't use it alone i will use it as a serum before my cream but mwah, 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 bella bella love this okay love this i can literally drink it this bad boy this tm serum girl when i tell you that i've never found such a multi-purpose serum in my life it has niacinamide which helps with texture it has alpha arbutin which helps with us eye hyperpigmentation girly i'm a hyperpigmentation girly to the core like you know which is just stay on one side for too long i get a mark so having something like nice nice in my alpha arbitin in one serum plus hyaluronic acid that was one of the reasons why i actually stopped using this serum because i didn't need to anymore because this was kind of doing everything for me right and it's repurchased it's in my current skincare routine you watch my morning skincare routine video on either shorts or on tiktok yeah she is definitely a baddie she a baddie she a 20 over 10 too okay it's one of those products that kind of do like six in one things for you like why buy 10 types of skincare when you can have one thing that does like three things and it's one of the reasons i've been able to shorten my morning skincare routine to only four steps right so i absolutely love her my other top two serums go to this june derm plumping hydration complex serum i really like this serum i'm not even gonna lie in another life where i wasn't using my tm already 
or maybe tea and gets too expensive because you know the way nigerian products nigerian stuff going crazy i think i'm going to be using more jundam because this is also a multifunctional serum or alternatively i could use this in the night and then use my tea in the day because this has peptides and amino acids it's a hydrating serum obviously but what i really like is the peptides and the amino acids because girls we need to start anti-aging treatments we need to start like gradually easing into anti-aging treatments and this is one of great ways like peptides are a great way to start as well as tretinoin because there's no way you're old you start preventing the old age we have to start now to prevent the old age okay so that's why i really like this it's like a multi-purpose serum so honestly i will be considering repurchasing this i actually received this as a pr package from beauty hot and then i have my beauty of joe's Hunt glowing skin populist and niacinamide serum again you guys i love niacinamide because i'm an oil skin girl which means i have a lot of texture niacinamide does wonders and magic for me when it comes to texture but i didn't use enough of this serum to be able to give a full review of it overall it was good propolis is great for your skin anyways there's some key ingredients i want to start including my skincare in general things like peptides propolis baby healing anti-aging stuff niacinamide obviously is a big step on the anti-aging subject i actually got the inky lists collagen booster serum again just in the theme of trying to ease myself into anti-aging like i said nothing drastic because obviously i'm still young but i do believe you should start anti-aging treatments like your mid-20s right so i'm talking from like 24 25 26 i think you should just gradually start incorporating it because the only way to fight wrinkles is to fight them early right and i don't want to have to start getting botox and stuff this was a good serum would i know the effect not right now okay because obviously right now my skin is not going to be able to tell this is like for future so but overall good product good product I can't really assess if it's done anti-aging just yet because I didn't age, okay? I did, but like, you know what I mean. I found this amazing brand called Revox, right? And I got two serums from them. One is a face oil, evening primrose and squalane oil. I love... This is one of my top products of 2023. When I first started using tretinoin, my skin was flaring. Because I'm an oily skin girl, even though my skin was flaring, I still can't use like a lot of very thick stuff on my face because my pores will get clogged easily this oil was so light but so rich right it's broken now that's how much usage i have out of it like i broke it i didn't even know i broke the pipette but yeah it's gone completely not even like a drop it was amazing at calming my skin down but being a good oil for oil skin girlies and it's a new brand that we've seen more in nigeria it's also generally more affordable than a typical more known brand and they actually have very good formulations and good products and I love this oil 200 over 10 like I could use it in the daytime that's how thin of an oil it was although I only use it at night because they said to only use it at night because it's night recovery it really is a recovery serum you're looking for healing like you want your skin to heal to recover maybe you've had a very stressful week and you want to recover it's so good and it's so lightweight guys but it's so rich in content it literally calmed my flare up in like a week bro i love it i also got the alpha arbutin um serum from the hyaluronic acid i didn't really enjoy this one right not because the product itself is bad but i bought it around the time i told you i started using tretinoin and my skin was flaring up so that meant that this was actually hurting me I, i'll put it on and it'll kind of like sting so because of that i kind of like developed like a little bit of a not phobia but like i was scared of using it so i don't think that's entirely the product's fault i don't know um, but obviously i was flaring up like i said using tretinoin so it probably has something in there that had an irritant i was using it sparingly i was using it under my armpits like i was just using it to use it up for using it up sake um, but not that i really enjoyed just give it a review but you see this oil if i see it anywhere i bought jojoba oil recently but if i see this oil anywhere <laughs> i'm gonna pack 10 i actually bought it in a quiet bomb and i haven't been able to see the oil in abuja i've been seeing like a lot of their other products but the oil itself has been so hard to find but i absolutely love this if you're looking to get into oils you know you don't want to use thick stuff on your face you want to be able to layer your oils layer your thick products like you're a dry skin person for example i want to be able to layer like thick things this oil will be so good before you add like a butter or something even thicker but like you can just put like a drop of it in your face cream for the night a fantastic très magnifique up next i have my Yonka new essence toner this again is just one of those great products that it was hyped i don't know why people kind of like come down on it i guess there's so many products out there but you see this 
texture very basic gets a clean job done when i mean like we're talking skin food we're talking no garbage we're talking they were one of the pioneers for that and this toner was great like it's just for me i just i put it on my face i don't use it to wipe i feed my skin a lot of this i think it has very little ingredients eight ingredients astragalus membrane brachios root extract some root extract botanic glycol hexandiol dimethyl silic Selene, hydro x carbamine argin arginine and the point is this thing has like eight ingredients literally but your skin will feel it you know when they say quality over quantity that is her need i say more need i say more i'm a cosrx girly at heart and you see you see this advanced 92% snail 2 cream 92 all in one. This is such a good day cream. I will purchase it till my last days on earth. The only reason why I haven't repurchased it currently is because I have some new products that I'm trying out, like I said. But it's such a great lightweight moisturizer for the daytime that is still so rich. Again, I like richness in products, but I don't want them to be thick, right? This is good at repairing my skin barrier. Snail mucin apparently has a lot of of collagen produce um collagen good for obviously anti-aging overall i love snow mucin i've been refusing to read like how they get it because i don't want to know and then feel like oh my god i have to stop using it if i'm being honest i love snow mucin i love cosrx and this is one of cosrx top star products overall best day cream ever i've ever tried ever used will ever use it's the kind of cream you just slap on put on your sunscreen and you actually go right absolutely love it. it's also good for nighttime if you want to layer on things now your skin is healing and not just for when your skin is healing just maintaining a healthy skin barrier because of the snail mucin and your skin is just glow it's one of those glass skin products like it's one of those products that will give your face like an inner glow and inner shine so i absolutely love this bad boy another thing i really got into last year was body butters i got into body butters a lot and my favorite has to be this kuja high body butter from a nigerian brand this butter changed my views so i started with a normal like shea butter whipped shea butter nice does the job because i was just looking for my skin to get softer like this for my body overall i'm just looking for softer more ev even toned skin because again i've seen that a lot of my hyperpigmentation comes from a place or doesn't come is triggered or it's, at least it's not helped by dehydration because my skin is severely dehydrated and dry my body itself is dry even though my face is oily so i started getting into butters the first one i got was this unrefined shea butter from ghana it smelled amazing i had like frankincense like a natural scent to it and then i was like okay let me get into whipped butters because like the typical thick shea butter first of all i hate the smell of the normal shea butter so i had to get one that was scented um but like i said they use natural extracts to scent to actually create the scent for this one anyways yeah so i was like it's too thick i got into whipped shea butters and i love that this is like a souffle really nice does the job my skin's glowing my skin's soft then i got introduced to this bad boy when i tell you that my skin has never been more even like it's one of those things that will actually gradually even your skin out in such a very juicy way i love this apparently it also has like a little bit of kojic acid cocoon butter bergamot it's amazing it smells amazing smells luscious smells rich up next my top three moisturizers i used last year basic does the job sometimes you don't need all this i feel like so many things in your skincare sometimes you need the basics i found recently that the less complicated a product is especially for like basic moisture i'm not talking about complex uh, formulations for like hyperpigmentation i'm talking i need a good basic moisturizer that's gonna keep my skin healthy okay i love cerave for that so it was a good start at some point i just i don't know i i, I really love it i really love it it's a great product ceramides for obviously your skin barrier repair hyaluronic acid for trapping moisture into your skin it's lightweight it's non-comedogenic which means it wouldn't clog your pores overall great starting moisturizer and it's huge like it took me almost a year to finish this so if you're buying it count the usage you're going to get out of it because it will take you almost a year to finish this okay especially when you start applying your moisturizer on wet skin as opposed to dry skin now i was using this oil-free cosrx moisturizer before i discovered before i discovered my addiction okay to this new one i had been using this oil-free birch sap one and honestly it's great for oily skin again calms your skin hydrates your skin does the job for daytime i would not use this at night unless i'm layering on another thick moisturizer on it so it's 70 percent birch 
booster again you're just getting antioxidant benefits you're getting like moisture but i went to the snail cream because i just prefer that i, I feel like that gave me more of a glass skin look and it was still lightweight enough the birch sap the oil free ultra moisturizer is even more lightweight so in case you're more oily skin and you just feel like you don't want something thick or your climate is like super super hot like nigeria is like hellfire right now then you can do that anyways last but certainly not least is pion can you remember we have her toner here so i was using these two together and when i tell you this was my first entry into ceramide so i didn't know much about ceramides i started doing my research and i heard that this was a good ceramide cream for oily oily skin girlies who want to like just get a little bit of a thicker moisturizer and dare i say this was one of the best things my hands touched like last year i absolutely love this oh there's still like a tiny bit left let's finish her up <laughs> i absolutely absolutely i love it it's great it's thick but not too thick and of course again just rich a rich moisturizer i substituted this one for the Iliun um, moisturizer because it's just bigger again another ceramide cream Ooh, getting a bit hot in here for me i loved all three of these sunscreens but if i was to rank them i'll give this number one I'll give this number two and I'll give this number three. The reason I'm giving this one low is because although it's hydrating, it's super oily. But she does the job and she goes on clear eventually. But it's super oily. Like it's just so oily. Like your skin will be oily in drier climates, but it's or in drier weather times, like Hamatan, or if you're in winter, wherever it is you are. But it's Hamatan when the weather is really dry. I don't mind that. But on a normal hot as 36 degrees day in Nigeria, I'm trying to go for something lightweight. And this aqua sunscreen did it for me. Super lightweight goes on transparent love it another one i love but i really used it more for my body was this bondi sand one it was just a little bit thicker than the aqua so i just ended up using it for my body because i drive a lot so my arms i've been fighting like hyperpigmentation like on my arms and one of the things that's been helping me it was actually applying sunscreen on my hands as well so absolutely love this for that i also did use it on my face occasionally also that is it for my empties i will see you in the next beauty session besties mm -hmm.